Alright, this video is just going to document a quick little project I did with this uh, Arduino. Uh, so, uh, something that I've just started recently playing around with. So, uh, one of the first things I wanted to do was just start with something that was kind of already working and modify it a little bit. And a uh, fun little project I started with is uh, one that was put together by my friend uh, John De Cristofaro. Uh, he's also known as uh, John Engineer on Twitter. And this is a picture of a, one of his blog page. One of the neat little projects he did Christmas 2011 was to create a little sketch for a microcontroller to draw a Christmas tree in XY mode on, on the scope. Uh, there's the address for the, uh, the blog that I'm looking at here, and uh, so you can go look this up. And he did a really nice job, you know, not only showing this, but, uh, but documenting it, describing what it did, and uh, little RC filters he's got on the outputs of the, the pulse width modulated outputs and description of the code. Uh, so it's all there and you can download the code and go play with it. So uh, I'd recommend starting from there if you want to kind of you know, start, use this as a starting point for something of your own. But I thought that was really cool, just uh, a really neat use of being able to you know, draw something. So I've got this sketch loaded up on the uh, Arduino and uh, this is the waveforms that uh, that sketch creates on the two uh, channels. And if we put the scope in XY mode, you can kind of see it draws a Christmas tree. He's got 19 vertices, okay, or X, Y points, and then just draws lines between them. So, uh, so I thought that was kind of neat, and uh, but I thought, well, let's uh, let's just play with this a little bit and uh, modify what it draws. So, uh, one evening while watching TV, I uh, kind of drew out my uh, my call sign W2AEW on uh, graph paper here. And then uh, spend some time uh, going through and you know, numbering a bunch of vertices to kind of draw it out. And I did it in such a way that this is essentially one continuous line going all the way around the outside of the block letters. The only overlap is when I draw the middle of the A and then coming back and around. Okay. And uh, so I got all those points and I'm not going to go through all the numbers here. But it wound up being 89 vertices, which isn't too horrible, but probably about the limit of what you'd want to do because... Uh, Drawing that many vertices causes the, uh, the ultimate picture to kind of flicker a little bit more than what you're seeing on the Christmas tree here, even with the PWM output sped up. So if um, I load up my code here, just uh, bring this up here, uh, we'll take a look. You can see that uh, I've got 89 uh, points that I'm using, and there's all the X vertices, uh, or the X coordinates and the Y coordinates for each of the points. But the code is exactly the same as what John did. And, uh, but it works really cool. So let's upload this sketch. Okay, send it over there to the, uh, uh, the scope. And uh, what I'll do is I'll take a look at the waveforms here first. Okay, if we uh, go up there. So there's the there's the waveforms that uh, we're creating, uh, both in X and Y, or for the X and Y. If I go into X Y mode. There's my call sign. And you can probably see it's flickering a little bit more than the Christmas tree did because uh, it has more points to draw through. So uh, it's going to take longer to kind of refresh all the way through it. And I've sped it up a little bit, and that's why you know, I sped up the delay, if you will, um, so that it, uh, it doesn't delay as much as the Christmas tree did. But anything more, and it flickers a lot. Uh, any, you know, any more of a delay, it flickers too much. Any less of a delay, and the lines start getting more and more crooked. But, uh, but it does work, and it's actually pretty cool. And again, all it took was to take a little time to draw out the, uh, the X and Y uh, coordinates for whatever shape you want to uh, use and then uh, code that into uh, into the sketch and go play it. All right, some of you also might be wondering well what would that look like on a digital scope? So uh, I took uh, those outputs and I probed them here into my Tektronix TDS 2014 digital scope and uh, you can see the result is nice. Now the one advantage that the digital scope has is that uh, you can often change the persistence on the display so I can kind of completely get rid of the flicker so that kind of worked well you know it's funny because a lot of the digital scopes don't have a decent XY mode and it's sometimes tough to kind of make an XY mode work well but in this particular case it worked out fine because of the persistence now uh, some cool things that you'd be able to do with the uh, the analog scope uh, for more complicated things is maybe use another output from the Arduino to modulate the Z or the intensity uh, of what we have here. That would allow you to turn the beam off, reposition, and then turn it back on and, and do you know, kind of a more complicated picture. That's something that you would not generally be able to do 
on the digital side. So anyway, just thought, uh, again, you'd like to, to see what it would look like on both an analog and a digital scope. And uh, thanks again for watching. Appreciate it.